Hey guys, Xbox here, and this is going to be uh, Orcs Must Die. This is going to be the Chaos Chamber um, level here. So hopefully this strategy slash guide will give you guys a little insight on how I was able to beat this level. Um, because again, I played it geez, two or three times, and I definitely got whooped every single time until I could find an efficient strategy uh, to beat this. So here basically all I did, as you can see, I set a few of those... Uh, whatever you want to call them, the wall pushers to knock those guys off into the uh, into the lava there. And you're probably not going to be able to get them all, but unfortunately, you know, when you first start out, you don't have much cash, so you're sort of forced to use this particular strategy here. All right, so perfect. So here what I'm going to go ahead and do now is um, once I actually get the guys basically past that first, uh, whatever you want to call it, the first pushers, uh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is there's going to be a sort of a second wave, and the second wave is actually the off to the sort of the right hand door here. So what I want to do is you, I, I don't want to set anything yet um, on this other side here. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply just, you know, basically just fire these guys. It's a long corridor, so you really don't have to worry about um, too many of them. But again, they're going to make it pretty far, depending on how how pretty, you know, pretty nice that you made your uh, defenses on the other side. So you can see here, I basically just spammed my crossbow for this for this particular section of the phase. And I know they're getting close, but this is really the only way that I could do it for this particular uh, particular level. It's just pretty much spam, 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 spam. So perfect, that's how I was able to beat what's called sort of wave two, I guess. And not knowing if they were going to come here again, what I wanted to go ahead and do here is uh, I was, I was going to go ahead and place a few of those uh, wall pushers or whatever you want to call them. I was going to place them on the actual walls themselves again. That's gonna leave a mark. So put two, put two or three of them there. That way, again, it'll, it'll buy me a little bit of time, um, especially when they're crisscrossing back and forth. So here... What I see is I see these new guys that I haven't seen. This is the first time that I've seen these uh, hunter guys. So here I use the same strategy as I do on the orcs, where I go ahead and blast them and then go ahead and uh, you know try and stun them by hitting them with the uh, hitting them with the uh, power shot from the crossbow. So we got another one coming here. I'm gonna do the same method. Just continue to blast this guy and stun him when I can. So perfect, I was able to beat that sort of what I call the third wave there. So this wave got a little bit tricky for me because I wasn't quite sure of where I wanted to maximize my guys here. So what I figured is I used a few of those barricades right there to um, a few of those barricades to really funnel the guys into those uh, wall pushers because if I can funnel them in, I knew that I'd be able to really get the maximum push out of it. Because if you if you don't, they're going to run on the outside of the uh, wall pusher, and it won't trigger. So here, what I wanted to do is just put up a few of these archer guys here, just to uh, to help out the process here. And you can see I got the perk to make them a little bit cheaper. So right in front of this door, I'm going to go ahead and put a sticky strip. Again, I wanted to give those uh, I wanted to give those archers their maximum amount of time to be able to blast those guys. So here I can see they're basically going to be coming up top again. I'm going to pop up top here and try to knock a lot of, knock a lot of these guys back here. Hopefully my wall push will push a lot of those guys right into the uh, right to that lower section down there. And you can see I'm really trying to stun those guys right in front of those wall pushers. So if I can stun those guys there, it gives me a great opportunity for my other things to reset and for me to go ahead and cause a lot of damage here. So you can see it's working great. Uh, not, not a lot of them get by. Well, a lot of them get by, but they're pretty already beat down by the time they get to you here. Perfect. So here I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I was thinking about putting a few archers up here just to help me out a little bit. 
But this time, of course, they're going to come on the actual bottom. Uh, the bottom down here, we're going to see how that setup worked. Good times. Good times. So we can see it's not working that bad. That basically, they're all being slowed down. They're not really being able to make it through. And the actual archers are able to land a lot of blows on these guys when they're trying to come through here. And you can see we are just killing these guys right and left right here. Really, they all have to filter through that one area. And the archers and everything really have just free reign on these guys right here. So perfect, that was that phase. You can see how well this section Last worked right here. So what I want to do here is give my archers a little more protection. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn another archer. And I was thinking about spawning a uh, another one of those roadblocks right there, or those blockers. But I figured, nah, my guy should be able to handle it. So here, the phase is coming back up top. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same technique as I used before down below. Is I didn't have enough stuff to filter him down here though. But... Um, that's perfectly fine. So here I'm going to come through. I, and I was trying to figure out what's going on here. And it looks like this is just too efficient. Uh, way too efficient for what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn another archer here. We can see, I can see that there's going to be a huge uh, rush from going up top. So here I know a few of my archers might die. So I'm going to go ahead here and just continue to spam. These guys right here, this good old hunter definitely is going to mess up my archers. So that good old hunter is going to kill a ton of my archers. I'm going to go ahead and try and hit him and kill him and spam my uh, stun when I can. You can see that the technique up top only held for a little while, which is perfectly fine. So here we go. We're basically setting up what's uh, basically getting ready for round three or phase three. Each phase, of course, they usually have three phases. So I know that down here has been doing great. I haven't had any uh, any issues yet with down here. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can do to maximize this lower section a little more so I can really focus up top. So what I do here is I place one of those and two of those there because what will happen now is those things will get pushed into the walls, yank, yank back and forth. And then, of course, my guys or my archers down here will really won't give them any breathing room. Uh, to you know, to uh, get off their feet here, so they're going to be filtered down. They're going to be yink yank back and forth, while my archers pretty much take control. So then, that way, I know that uh, I don't have to worry about that down section down there. So hopefully, you guys can see how I built that there. So here we go. I'm ready to rock and roll. Up top, I'm going to be the one trying to do as much damage as I can as these guys come out of here. You can see a nicely placed stun right there. You know, trying to hopefully wait for that first one to reset. You can see that the lower section is absolutely having no problem at all. All I gotta simply do is worry about the top here. So place another archer right there, place another one. Go back up here and help out a little bit. So here that I see the top is the top is pretty much done. Here comes the second wave uh, in the last round right here. Ooh, here's a good one. So here I'm going to use the same techniques that I always do. I'm going to go ahead and place a few of these uh, tar pit traps so it slows them down a little bit. And he so here when I go look down here, I know that, again, the lower section here is going to have no problems at all. Um, just too much for those guys to go through. So here, I'm going to run back top and check and see what's going on. These archers pretty much got all those guys uh, locked down here. So I'm just keep stacking these archers here. You can see they're all getting ready here. They're all coming on the lower section. They're coming here on the top. I just like to pick these things off as they come in. But sometimes they are very fast to shoot. You can see absolutely none of them made it on the bottom, so that is perfect. So here comes the final wave on uh, stage three or phase three, whatever you want to call this. So this is basically the ninth stage that you're going to fight. So they're really going to bring it here. They're going to do a multi-stage thing where they're going to bring a bunch of them down low. 
So I'm going to go check out the lower section down here and see how this is holding up. I can see that there is absolutely no problem here whatsoever. Even with this big orc coming, there is absolutely no problem. My guys are taking care of him uh, real easy. You can see how one of their uh, runners right there made it through, so I'm going to try and hit him if I can. For some reason, I couldn't, I just couldn't get in there and I couldn't hit him. I didn't know if my guy was blocking or what. But this is going to be the, uh, again, the final, the final wave here. You can see they're sending a ton of them, but they really can't do much here. So here I'm going to go check top because I see another wave is coming up top. And I can see that they sent a bunch of, uh, a bunch of trolls here, a bunch of orcs to hit me. And this orc pretty much just daisy chains me, uh, daisy chains a stun there the whole time. So I was able, I was able to get them, but I see they got a ton more coming here. So I'm just going to try and hold these guys off as best as I can. And I know some of you are saying, hey, why aren't you using your money? It's because I'm sitting too busy clicking trying to kill all these guys from going into my uh, actual thing here, back into my rift here. So with that, these last few guys, that's how I was able to beat this level on All Orgs Must Die. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, check out my all other videos. I try to post videos daily on games that I play, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out there with a strategy. Thanks for watching.